Here at CBH, we're focused on making the network more efficient for our growers. As part of the ongoing investment into the network, we're enhancing our throughput efficiency, basically how quickly we receive grain from trucks during harvest. At Munyanooka, we've installed a second weigh ridge to remove bottlenecks. The second weigh ridge now allows trucks to weigh out without blocking the traffic into the site and will help improve cycle times. This will allow us to reduce cycle time significantly in the season where there is a large crop and a busy harvest. Here at Arano, we've increased the throughput rate by upgrading the existing equipment. We replaced the old augers with new ones that have a slightly different design and a large motor. With the conveyor belt, we made it deeper by increasing the trough angle from 35 to 45 degrees, and we refurbished the trippers and upgraded the ground conveyor motor as well. This has increased the rate that CBH receives the grain from trucks during harvest. I'm a truck driver for Cowie Yelling Farm, Three Springs. Definitely improved the site for, uh, for sure. It's just a lot quicker now and you're not waiting around on site. Quicker in here means quicker back to the paddock to uh, yeah, relieve the pressure. We've got two headers going and only one truck, so the less time we can spend in here is uh, yeah, more time back out in the paddock to get another load. At Karoo, we've completely refurbished both horizontal fixed storage facilities. Before now, grain wasn't able to be fumigated, so it could only be stored for a very short amount of time. With the refurbishment, grain can remain in storage at Karoo until it is required for export, which helps to reduce non-essential movements within the supply chain. In 2019, we enhanced throughput equipment at 37 sites and installed 19 longer way bridges. Along with the storage expansion projects and ongoing network maintenance, CBH has invested more than $240 million into the network. Another $50 million has also been spent this year on network maintenance. It's all to make sure we're making the network sustainable for future generations.